Ah, <sighs> so here we are to tell the story about two fishermen. Yes, fishermen. My producer wants me to tell a story about fishermen, probably because his favorite hobby is fishing or something like that. So, here we go. Um, off the top of my head. <clears throat> There was two fishermen one day. Well, well, there were still fishermen on the other days, but you know what I meant. So, one was named... I don't know. I really don't want to tell this story. Uh, okay. So, one was named Billy, and Billy was uh, blonde. Blonde with a with an eye patch. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, an eye patch. <laughs> this is possibly as interesting as this story can get. Um... Okay, so the other fisherman, uh, fisherman, was named uh, John. Yes, ah, John and Billy. Sort of feels suggestive, doesn't it? I, I don't know. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, how can I make this more interesting? Uh, backstories, maybe. Okay, yeah, sure. Ha. Okay, so. Billy used to be a veteran in Vietnam. Yes, shot many people, but, um, hurt his leg. So he had to retire and spend the rest of his life as a fisherman to feed his poor family. Oh, so saddening, isn't it just? Anyway, John's story is so much sadder. John used to be a ninja. Yes, a ninja. Mm Mm-hmm. You're probably asking how did a ninja manage to stoop so low and become a fisherman for the rest of his life? Well, I'll tell you exactly. <clears throat> John was on a highly dangerous mission to assassinate one of the most powerful world leaders. I can't really remember which country, but you know, that's not what matters. On the night that he was sent in, it was very misty and cold. It was a mountaintop military base where the world leader, from which the country I cannot remember, was holding a meeting with his uh, military leader. This was the perfect night for John the Ninja to strike. He approached the base from the western mountain, where he would have an incredible height advantage to swoop down and land in the base almost invisibly. So he begins to prepare the jump. He begins stretching and then takes a deep breath. And then, uh, oh, uh, sorry, guys. Uh, my producer's coming through the earpiece here. Apparently I need to return to the story about the fisherman. Uh, okay, so skipping John's backstory, because obviously it's not what matters right now. We go back to the, uh, fisherman. Uh, so, they sat next to the lake, they take out their tackle, ready their rods, and throw it into the water, because there's nothing more interesting than they can do with their fishing rods. Hence, they're called fishing rods, and not something like fighting rods. Oh, wait! Brilliant idea! Okay, so, John and Billy get really bored of fishing, so they both take their rods out of the water and begin a duel. To the death! And we begin- uh, sorry, uh, yeah, sorry, producer, on the ear again. <laughs> um, yeah, where, where were we? Where were we? Yeah, uh, fishing rods in the water. So they just, uh, sat there, not really talking. I actually can't be asked to form a conversation for them, so they're not really going to talk. They'll just sit there waiting for the fish. Yeah. Waiting. Mm Mm-hmm. Waiting more for, uh, uh, fish to hook on. Seems to be a bad day (laughs) for for the fish, that is. Oh my god, this is boring me out of my mind. You know what? I hate my producer. So, suddenly there is a catch on Billy's rod. He quickly pulls the rod back to discover that he's caught my producer on the hook. That's right, a little metallic hook sticking right through my producer's left cheek with blood everywhere. Oh, and did I forget to mention that Billy and John are really hungry? So no time to waste. They quickly get out their batons and batter him to death, cooking up real quick and eat him for lunch. The little prick. What the hell do you think you're Uh, doing? Want to become involved and either draw, write, or narrate? 
Take a look at the link in the description for everything you'll need to know to be a part of this. Thanks for watching.